interdisciplinary. Interesting. Charlie. <laughs> Experimental. I study nanoscience because it's really interesting not to learn only about physics but also about chemistry and biology. What is really great about studying nanosciences is that you are in close contact with your um, other, with the other students because there are not so many students and also we have from the beginning the possibility to go into different research groups and see what is actually going on in the research at the moment. I really like nanoscience because it's very interdisciplinary so you can combine different fields and different interests. The thing I liked most was always that we are a small group, that we always know each other and that there is this nice contact with the teaching assistants and professors which are always open for your questions. I like most in my in my courses that it's really an interdisciplinary field. So one day I I'm in a room with physicists talking about quantum mechanics, but then the next day it could be that I am talking with some biologists about biophysics or genetics. It's really, it's a very diverse field and it's also very current research topics that we are always confronted with. And I think that's very, very interesting. What I really enjoyed is that we had a lot of experimental lectures um, where you can just try to do things and um, this is what I like uh, when, when I'm doing science. So I want to experiment and, and if you like to experiment then the, then the nano study in Basel is really, is really a perfect fit for you too. The beauty of the master is that you can specialize yourself and that you can you have so much freedom and you can decide within a big variety what you really want to do and what you're interested in. When you study nanoscience, you have to do two project works and one master thesis. The master thesis goes half a year and the two projects are about around two months each. And then you can choose freely in which group you would like to go, where your interests are and you can search individually for what you like. In nanoscience master program we are offering four different disciplines, molecular biology, chemistry, physics, and from fall semester 21, we have a new direction in medical nanosciences. I chose physics as a major because it's really interesting for me to learn about how the world works. As a major, I chose molecular biology because this allowed me to uh, get an insight into different fields of biology and see different aspects of this fascinating field. I chose uh, chemistry as a major for my master degree in nanosciences because this was the topic I was always interested in since the beginning of high school. I chose physics because I think this is really a topic which blows my mind on a daily basis. I think it's very astonishing what phenomena occur once you go from the macroscopic world, what we observe in our everyday life, down to the microscopic where really quantum mechanics is the dominating effect and completely new things arise. My research on colloidal nanocrystals is exactly on this interface of chemistry, physics and biology that is so characteristic for the nanosciences program. The master in nanoscience is perfectly located at the crossroads of physics, chemistry and biology. We do molecular biology, we understand and study proteins at the atomic level with animal spectroscopy and we love the nanoscience students. They come here and they can bring the best of all worlds um, to do great discoveries with us. Because the masters of nanosciences give excellent insights into quantum and nanotechnologies, I'm always very happy to welcome students from this uh, course in my lab for masters or PhD series. I'm always happy to welcome master students in my research groups at the Paul Scherer Institute and the University of Basel. The University of Basel is interesting for me because they work together with other institutions like EMPA or PSI. I choose Basel because they have the nanoscience master program. That's one reason and the other is it's an open-minded city where people are friendly and it's nice to stay here. Yeah. I love Basel. It's a very it's a very nice city with very friendly people. Uh, the Rhine River is 
really beautiful, especially in summer, it's the place to be and I can absolutely recommend going there and just having a beer after, after a long day of studies. It's, I think it's a, one of the best places to study. The area is nice because um, it's international and um, it's close to the Alps and the Black Forest where you can ski or hiking. It's convenient that I can um, live in Lörrach and study in Basel. To the University of Basel it's um, about a half an hour bike ride. There's a lot of possibility to go abroad. I mean you can do an Erasmus exchange or you can even do a project or your master thesis abroad. I did one of my projects in Vienna and this was really nice because like this I had the possibility to see a different research environment and really experience another lab, another place and another country. I went to Spain, to Valencia, which is at the sea and there I did an Erasmus semester in theoretical physics. For my master thesis I went to Mexico, to Monterrey. I can definitely recommend to do something like this. During my master degree I had the possibility to go to Japan. I really liked this experience that it was unique. The beauty of the master nanoscience is that you get the possibility to go abroad really easily and enjoy this time. I not only had really nice lectures and um, blog course and this kind of stuff, but I also met the right people that helped me to sit here today and to, to now have a job that I really like and, and enjoy. So I, I would do it like from, I would do it exactly the same.